everybody. Um, I want to talk to you guys about volume today, okay? So, and, and we're going to talk specifically about volume of rectangular prisms. Now, before we look at any of these, I want to make sure we know what volume is. Uh, we've already done surface area, and we know that when we work with surface area, we're working with three-dimensional objects, okay? When we work with volume, we are going to continue working with three-dimensional objects. The difference here is that volume, we're looking at how much stuff fits inside this box or that house or that swimming pool or that fish tank or whatever that three-dimensional object is, how much stuff fits inside it instead of how much how much the outside, how much area covers the outside of it, right? So we're looking at the inside of the three-dimensional objects now, okay? So I've got a few I want to look at with you. Let's look at the first one. If you look over, over here, we've got a three-dimensional object, right? It's a rectangular prism. It has a length, it has a width, it has a height, okay? Now, We've done area, we've done surface area. What's nice about volume is we're just going to use another formula. It's, I've got it right here for us. The volume, in order to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we're going to do the volume equals the length times the width times the height. So the length times the width times the height. So let's look at one. I've got a picture of a fish tank over here. It's got its dimensions, and I've got my formula. And what I've done right here, I've taken that formula and um, I've replaced the variables with the values that we know. Now, at this point, we still don't know the volume, so V is still there. So V equals, I do know the length. The length is three feet, so I'm replacing L with three. I'm gonna replace W with the width, which is two feet. I'm gonna replace H with the height, which is two feet. So in order to find the volume of this fish tank, the volume equals three times two times two. Just doing one at a time, 3 times 2 equals 6, so volume equals 6 times 2, and 6 times 2 is 12, so volume equals 12 feet cubed. And remember, it's cubed because, look at how many dimensions we're, we're using here. We've got one dimension, the length, two dimensions, the width, and our third dimension is the height. So because there's three dimensions, our unit is cubed, okay? All right, so let's move on. Let's go look at another one that I've got for you here. Okay, so... Um, Example two, right, here is our shape, maybe. There it is, all right, so here's our rectangular prism. It's just a box, right? We've got a length of 12 centimeters. We've got a width of 10 centimeters. We've got a height of six centimeters. Remember, when we do these, volume equals the length times the width times the height. So to solve this problem, we're gonna start with that formula, I guess it's over here, um, and we are going to replace the variables if we know their value, okay? Now, looking at this prism, I do not know the volume. I do know the length. I do know the width, and I do know the height. So I'm going to replace the L, the W, and the H with their respective uh, lengths, right? So to move on to my next spot, volume equals 12 times 10 times 6, right? 12 times 10 is 120. Okay, so volume equals 120 times 6. And now I know that 12 times 6 is 72. So 120 times 6 is going to be 720. Oh, let me get myself out of the way again. So the volume equals 720. And remember, we've got, we need our unit. It's centimeters. And because we're using three dimensions, we're using the length, we're using the width, and we're using the height. Um, our answer has to be cubed, so the volume equals 720 cubic centimeters, okay? That's volume. That's volume of rectangular prisms. That's all we need to worry about right now. Use that formula, replace the variables, and just do the multiplication, okay? Um, good luck. Uh, this is it. Can't wait to see how you guys do. Thank you so much.